What's up folks, it's Sam and I'm really excited today and here's why. It's because I'm getting braces. Now I have had braces before, but the reason why I'm so excited this time is because later on in a few months I'll be having surgery. So as I was saying, um, the reason I'm excited this time is because in a few months I'll be going into surgery. Just got home from North Adonis, as you can see. I got my braces. Not only that, but I also got this new haircut. Now, like I was saying earlier, my teeth are perfectly straight, but the reason I got braces again is because of my jaw. It's kind of hard to tell, but if you look at my neck, you see I got a little bit of a turkey neck. It's because the way my jaw was growing. Like, my jaw was, like, growing out. Not only is that, but I have an open bite. See? open by it. My teeth are as they're shut as far as they'll go. See in the back they're touching but in the front they can't touch. And I have to have, I'll be having jaw surgery in a few months. So that's why I got braces again. The doc wants to make sure that my teeth are, you know, lined up straight before I have surgery. And that's why I got braces again. See, my jaw was like growing out. You can kind of tell by my neck. And also, my chin is like sort of long too. So that's one way to tell. But anyways, that's about it for the braces blog. And I'll be back in a few months as I'm going into surgery. So, so that's it. Peace. I just wanted to discuss with y'all my open bite. As y'all saw on the last slide, I said I have an open bite. And here's what I can't stand about it. First off, I'm a little embarrassed about my smile, because look. This is my normal smile. Because of my open bite, I have to smile like this. I have to bite down on my lip. This is my normal smile. And one thing that embarrasses me is it looks... Like, when I do my normal smile, it looks like I bit my tongue. I'll give you an example. My 10th grade school yearbook photo. This was me when I was 15. As you can see up close, it looks like I bit my tongue because my teeth don't close. So that's one thing. I'm a little embarrassed about my smile. But here's something else I can't stand. There's other negative things. I'm One thing that I really don't like is like my lips don't close like watch I'm more relaxed in my mouth see my lips don't even touch together and that's one thing I can't stand also when I eat it also affects me I can't eat thin stuff like lettuce tomato anything like that spinach like real thin stuff I can't eat it and the only thing I can eat that really is thin is um probably fruit roll-ups. I have to wad it up and eat it. Another thing I can't stand about my open bite is um is um you know when I eat pizza, which rising crust don't help. What, what happens when I bite into it? All the cheese comes off and it just leaves the crust itself. Now my teeth, I can chew like see my teeth touching the very back and um, my open body has gotten wider when I was 13 years old my mom took me to the orthodontist and they said I would open bite it was hardly nothing it's gotten so much wider since then look I can even stick my pinky between it now also um, another thing I don't like about it is when I eat I have to eat chew like this most people chew with their lips closed I have to eat like this. Sort of is embarrassing. It's like I gotta eat like a horse. There's more things that I can't stand. Because my lips don't touch, food gets all on my mouth. Like if I'm eating something like nachos or candy or chocolate or something, it gets all around my mouth or cheese, anything. Something else I can't stand. 
And also, um, something that is embarrassing, if I look down and start talking like this, I'll start drooling. I won't be able to help it. Like one time back in high school, I was working on a project with people. And you know, as you're doing a science experiment, you got to look down. And all of a sudden, next thing you know, I just started drooling. It was embarrassing. Can't, I can't control it because my lips don't touch. There's also been times where gum or candy just fell out of my mouth. And also, something else I can't stand is when I go to sleep at night. Because my lips don't touch and my mouth don't close. I sleep with my mouth open. I sleep like this. And it gives me a sore throat. So those are the things I really can't stand about my open bite. And um, my family is a little bit scared because I should be going into surgery soon. But um, I'm, I'm sort of happy about it because I can't stand this type of problem. Um, and I just don't, I can't, you know, I don't like this open bite. Another time in high school um, in my nursing class, this boy was getting his legs sewed up. And, um, and as we're all looking down at his leg, I accidentally slobbered. In the class, they just acted so rude towards me. They even told the teacher I did it on purpose, got me into trouble. I'm just saying, I can't control it. But I'll be back in, um, in a few months from now, and I'll be, um, discuss and as I'm going into surgery, and I'll be, and shortly after surgery, I plan to do, you know, a face reveal on the new me. So that's about it for now. There is something else I don't like about my open bite. Sometimes I stutter, like when I talk real fast and I have to talk real fast, like, like you see, I start to mumble. Like, um, it affects my speech. Because, you know, my, my teeth, like the open body has such a gap in it, it, you know, struggles with my speech. And also, like I said, food gets on my mouth. It's more embarrassing with, you know, facial hair. Like, I, like I, normally I'd grow a beard, and after I'd eat, I'd have crumbs and stuff all in all of my mustache and my goatee and all that. But since I got braces, I shaved the facial hair off, you know, to look younger. But anyways, that's just other problems I have with it. Just to prove it to you, I'm, I'm talking real fast. This is my speech. You see? I can't control it. It's fast as I can talk. I, I, see? That's something else. I'm happy. I'll be happy when they fix my mouth. What they're doing is they're going to be doing upper and lower jaw surgery. As far as I know, they're going to break my upper jaw and they're going to like pull it out and they're going to break my bottom jaw and like pop it back in. I just know I'm going to be happy when they do this because I'll be able to eat normally again. I'll, I, I can probably sleep with my mouth open and be able to breathe better at night. I'll just be happy when they do this surgery. But those are just some more negative facts I want to tell you all about about my um, open bite. As I said in the last slide, as I was talking about how like when I go to sleep at night, I sleep with my mouth open, there's more negative consequences that involve in that. Like, because like, you see how my teeth don't close? That causes me, like, that causes me to um, sleep with my mouth open. And I, I don't like it, but that's not the only problem Sometimes people try to be mischievous and they'll stick stuff in my mouth. Like one time when I was 14, um, I, I, I fe fell asleep on the couch and then my brother, he decided to be mischievous and he stuck his big toe in my mouth. That's disgusting, I know. That ain't the only thing. My stepsister also um, shoved a shoe and sole inside my mouth when I was sleeping. And that's just gross. That's one thing I can't stand about going to sleep with my open bite. But also, um, another thing I hate about it is drooling. Like, when I go to sleep at night, I'll drool all over the place. My whole pillow end up getting soaked. That's disgusting. If I could control it, I would stop it, but I can't. Also, I like, I roll over, roll over my sleep, and I'll end up rolling over face down on my pillow, and it's just soaked and wet with slobber. I just can't stand it. That's another reason why I want them to correct the surgeons to correct my jaw so I can, you know, so I won't be drooling at night. It totally sucks having to eat with this open bite. 
I'll give you an example. I'm eating some corn right here. And here's what's the problem with thin foods. As y'all saw, a piece of corn started to fall out of my mouth. And also, food gets all around my lips, which is irritating. Maybe hard to tell, but my mouth is dirty from eating that. But look, I can't even chew in my front teeth. I can only chew in the very back. And so far, my teeth in the back are getting wider. That's the main reason I have to have the surgery. Because if I don't, it's going to be hard trying to eat, it, eat, which I'm not through growing yet. And, um, and also, my teeth in the very back, I start grinding down and getting rotten, which will cause teeth problems in the future. So that's one reason why I have to go into jaw surgery.